Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to be showing you how I do this hairstyle. I'll put a picture right here. Um, I had this for New Year's Eve and this is very Kendall Jenner inspired. That's actually where I came up with the idea because I saw her wearing it and I was like, I have to recreate this right now. Okay, camera died, I had to recharge. But the first thing I'm gonna say I'm going to be using is this is Not Your Mother's Clean Free Tapioca Dry Shampoo. So this is a new product that I've been using and it works wonders. Um, I'm a sucker for dry shampoo because I do this with my hair um, only on the second, oh my God, it smells amazing. It smells like vanilla. Um, I do this with my hair on like the second or third day so that it's just a little bit greasy But I still like to put the dry shampoo in so that you can't really tell that it's greasy um, It just works better with your hair when it's a little greasy Okay, so after I am just gonna brush through and get all the dry shampoo evenly distributed throughout my hair Got this new ring light and it is Amazing. Okay, so now that my hair is pretty much brushed through, um, what I'm going to do is take, I'm going to take the top part of it and kind of brush down to where the part that I want. So right about there is gonna be um, the part on that side. And then I'm gonna get the other side pretty evenly if I can. This looks like really crazy right now. Um, but I'm gonna want these two pieces on either side to be very deep in and right in the middle. Okay, yay. So now that I have these two pieces, um, the rest just kind of comes naturally and I start that part here and start brushing it backwards. And you can see um, right there that it's gonna be like a lined part of that way. Um, since I have short hair, I have pieces that are going to be hanging at the bottom, but I kind of just like that and I think that it's just different. Um, it turns into like a half up, half down type of thing. And I think actually in this picture of Kendall Jenner, she is wearing hers the same way. To make this a little bit easier, I'm going to be taking this brush and this is just like a very fine bristled brush. Um, and this just kind of makes everything a little bit even, a little bit more even. This is the part that takes kind of a while because um, I'm really just like brushing it up until it's all even and there's no marks and no bumps. Okay, so like I said, I do have pieces that are going to hang at the bottom. That's just the natural hair that I have since I have um, shorter hair. But it's almost pretty much easily there. And this is my version, guys, so be nice. I am not Jen Atkin doing Kendall Jenner's hair, and I never will be. But I have it as even as I think it's gonna get for now. I'm just gonna go ahead and take one of my thin hair ties and tie the hair back. Pony as high as I can get it. Um, and you'll see that my hair's a little bit shorter, so this actually I think would work even better with longer hair but I just really liked the idea, so I went for it. I have this water bottle that I'm gonna use to spray. I'm actually gonna spray it directly onto my brush. This way I can brush down the bangs to kind of give it that wet look. Um, it just kind of gets the frizz, gets the frizz out and it'll be a little bit more sleek when I put it back. So I'm just gonna start by going that way. A bit of a messier look. It's my handy thing because it back if it has all my shit. Okay, so now that I have everything almost set up to like how I want it to look, um, this will have to get a little bit fixed. But I'm gonna take these pieces that I had put behind my ear 
and I will wrap it around and then use these clips to clip it into place. I tried using a bobby pin, it didn't work last time. I'm gonna take the same thing, go around the other side. and just clip those babies into place. Um, what I like to do sometimes is take a piece of the hair that's in the ponytail and wrap it around so that you can't see the hair tie here. I'm not gonna do it today just because I don't have as much time, but that is almost the final look. So what I'm gonna do now is take this L'Oreal Vanishing Frizz Cream. So this is how I do my sleek hair as well, which is another tutorial for that is coming soon. But I'm just gonna take the littlest amount because this stuff goes a long way. And get all the little flyaways down and around. And even run it through the ponytail part. Okay, this is the final look and I think it's a little bit messier than I wanted it to be this time, but you gotta just have to like work with it. And I have a little bumps here, but once you work with it and like really brush through it and figure out like what works for your hair, then it is actually a very easy hairstyle to do. Um, just depends how much time you're willing to take. Also, my hair is short, but I think I would like this with a long hair. Maybe I'll get extensions and do it again. <laughs> I don't know, but thanks Kendall Jenner for inspiring me always. I have a few more hair tutorials coming soon and different makeup ideas, so stay tuned for all of this. Not always entirely sure if you guys want them on YouTube versus like IGTV, but this just gave me a little bit more flexibility to kind of like have a longer video and have my mirror right in front of me. So, till next time guys, hope you guys enjoyed this and hope you recreate it. And if you do, let me know. Definitely tag me in your Instagram story.